Hello! Jack and I are in a secret location in Scotland in the woods and we're looking for sep or porcini <laughs> mushrooms. Um, Boletus edulis is the name for them. Um, and yeah, I've just spotted one in there, so let's go and check it out and hopefully we'll find a few today. Uh, yeah, let's, let's find out. This is the first one I've spotted. It's got a little babby one underneath. Very often, there's quite a lot more under the soil than you think. So I tend to cut around them a little piece. Jack, back a bit. And there you go. The larger one, I want to check and see it's not too maggoted. It has got a few maggots in there. But we'll take it for now, just in case we don't find too many. I like to just brush off the pine needles under the Sitka spruce. This one's going to take a little bit more cleaning. It's a tiddler, but it'll be tasty. Got another one here. But again, it looks a bit mangled. I'm just going to cut right through and see if it's maggoted. It is a bit, but probably bearable amounts. These are sort of netting shapes on here. That's what it's sort of, it's an indicator, it's a set. Um, and as you can see, as the, as the pores get older underneath, they start out white and they go kind of yellow as they get a little bit older. So there, there you go. This is the best one so far. Hey Jack. Later in the year there'll be much more of these, but right now, um, yeah, there's not too many. this Jack? What have we got here? A little set mushroom. Yeah there's maggots in here. Hopefully they won't go all the way to the cap though. I'll take my risks. It's a nice mushroom. We'll see when we clean them up later. I'm going to uh, I'm going to dry these mushrooms if I get. Them. Thank you. If I don't get enough, then I'll just eat them on toast tonight. What's Jack found? Who's a good mushroom boy? A little bonanza in there. Can you see them? Okay, I'll put the tripod down and pick them on on camera. I'll see if I can just reach in and. Yeah, they're coming out nice and easily. Uh, there we are. Three of them. I'll give them a clean now, put them in the basket and then I'll show you where I'm at just now. Here's where we are at the moment. A few there, a few nicer than the others, but uh, <laughs> Jack, that's really not helping. He wants to play sticks. This is the perfect place for playing sticks as well. Oh, maybe not for me so much, but for him. This one's hiding, it's all twisted up. They sometimes do that in the roots. Jack, can you go back a bit, please? Thank you. Don't tread on the mushrooms, Jack. Back a bit, please. Jack. Good lad. <laughs> Jack just threw a stick in the shot. Well, that's a bit of a strange one, but that is a set. And this one here, it's just a stem. 
Ah, it's probably a bit spongy actually. Well, at least we've got this one. Cool, let's crack on. It is quite early in the season, but it's been raining quite a lot here and then bone dry, so yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm doing not bad. Um, it'd be nice to get at least half a basket full in the next couple of hours. It's so peaceful here, the birds singing. It's really nice. Well, when the dog isn't barking, of course. Have you found us some more? Right beside him. Good boy. I think he may have kicked that one over, over there. Okay, let's go get him. Hey, get a wee step. Oh no, he didn't. Sorry, Jack. It wasn't you at all. There we go. Let's have a look. It's a bit chewed. Cap's lovely though. What do you think, Jack? Jack thinks, hmm, great. Where's the sticks? You want some more? Not enough? You want some more water? Okay. Got a couple of little ones. This one's been knocked over recently. Um, I think I'll take the stem. Jack, don't stand on them, please. Oh, sorry, he's knocking the things with it. Will you? Jack! Excuse me. I'm trying to make a TV programme here. Some video, should I say. There you go. Over there is a path. And I'm walking along here in the woods, but just in the woods. Because whenever there's a change in habitat, such as a path or grass versus just, you know, the woods and the pine needles, um, mushrooms feel threatened, so or the mycelium does, pokes up some mushrooms to reproduce in that area because it feels threatened. So yeah, if you find a path, it's always best to so stick fairly closely to it because you often find mushrooms right at the side of paths in the woods. Jack just found a ditch full of stagnant water, didn't you pups? A ditch full of stagnant water, what did you do? What did you do? He jumped in, of course he did. Little monkey. And now he wants my sandwich. I probably will get a piece as well because I'm a softie. And the fly is bothering you, pal. Good boy. Gone. Is that fun splish flush? Come on you silly sausage. Let's go and get some more mushrooms. Did you find one? You sure did. Have you seen it yet? Hey. Here we go. Got one here. Back a bit, Jack. Oh, actually, I'll take this one first because he's going to squash it. Oh, nearly carnage. There you go. And you know what? I'm going to have to get this as well because chaos. But there we go. <laughs> I got them just in time before they got squished. Look at the size of this one. That's tiny. And this one. Those ones we will leave. No. That's what he wants to do. What he wants to do constantly. <laughs> and then he wrecks it as well. Go on, Jack, have fun. Hello, one here. Our little friend. This one is small, but I'm pretty sure it's going to have, yeah, big enough piece underneath. That's worth taking. Mister, yeah, I'll clean them up and stick them in the basket. Here's one under this stick. That's not for you, that stick. 
Back jack. Oh man. It makes it so much more challenging. So don't grow the mushroom. There we are. Oh, a mosquito on me. It's a nice one. There we go. Nice twisty one. Jack, it's not for you, pal. There you go. Slightly yellow and underneath. Still fairly young, though, I think. Jack, you're in the shop. Jack. Thank you. So this one's an old one, uh, an old fruiting one. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it shows that they've been out for a little while, or at least some of them have. Sorry, Jack was just going to tell you what I was going to say there. Go on then. Can I just turn your ear the right way? And what were you going to say about the mushroom? What were you going to say about the mushroom? Go on, what was it? What were you going to tell me about that mushroom? Anything? So yeah. It's, uh, it's a really early one. Basket cam. So uh, when you're walking through all this Sitka, it's really dense, but it seems that that is where most of these mushrooms are hiding. So you've got to just kind of get on with it. Uh, the best piece of kit that I've actually got stop all the stuff going down the back of my neck is this brimmed hat that I'm wearing. I don't normally wear these um, unless I'm mushrooming and they're just absolutely perfect for this, you know. Uh, I hope you heard all of that because it was all just bristle, bristle, bristle. Just looking for a couple more and then I'll probably call time because it's really, really warm today. Yeah. Quite nice to see, I found a bumblebee's nest. Love bees. They don't seem to be bothered with me being here, but I'll just leave them be. <laughs> Look at these tiny little ones. Oh, 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 Jack, you just stood on one. Oh man, come on, this way. Oh, bless, he doesn't know any better. Oh well. A big one here, Jack. No, what's the knife, mister? Okay, I'll use my fingers. There you go. It's not for you. He thinks it's for him. Hey, pal. You can see where I've just cleaned that one. And there was that one probably right between my feet, you know. I didn't even know it was there. It's not for you. Beautiful. Nice one. Look at this beauty in the sunshine. That's lovely. Look at that. It's perfect. A gorgeous thing. Nice one. Here's a couple. But yeah, too spongy for me. You can make stock with them, that would be about it. But I can spot some over there. Gonna go and get them. Here we go. Whoa, it's a corker. And there was that one as well, but Jack knocked the top of it, so... Here it is. Nice. What's the size of this one? But again, it's too far gone for me. Hey Jack. I'll try and show you the mushroom. It's it's just between the dog's legs there. There you go, is it a sep? No, it is not. It is a brown birch bullet. And we're in the sick of spruce, as you know, but just one birch tree in amongst all the, the pine has made that grow. That's crazy. It's a monster! Look at the size of it. Put to my little mushroom knife. Yep. Oh, I think I saw another one as well. There's a couple over here. But yeah, they're too far gone. There might be other ones nearby, and um, little ones, so I'll have a quick look now. Jack has shown great interest in this one, so we're going to be taking this out fairly quickly. This is kind of a live extraction. 
Wow. That's nice. Hasn't even got to the sun yet, so the cap's still white on one side. That's a lovely bulbous one. You're behaving now. You're a good boy. Good doggy. So here's the hull. Must be a couple of kilos anyway. It's about half a basket, which is what I wanted. Um, I'm actually quite surprised they're here this early. They've never been here this early before. I saw a post online by someone else in the forum saying there was some in Scotland. So, And here they are. So yeah, I'm really, really chuffed for that. I'll be able to dry those. Um, and then yeah, preserve them and keep them for the rest of the year. Nice one. Thanks for joining Jack and I on a Dirty Secrets of Scotland, Dirty Wee Secrets episode. Um, yeah, these are just the short things in between during the week, just bonus videos, uh, not full treasure hunting videos. Anyway, yeah, thanks for joining us again, Jack and I, and uh, until next time. Okay, it's the next day. It turned out to be 2.5 kilos of mushrooms from yesterday's haul. And now it is time to clean them like this. There you go. So I've got three different categories. Uh, these ones are the nicest ones. So those ones are the ones I dry. These ones will be sauteed in butter and then they'll be frozen because I like to make um, like mushroom soups and stews and things like that later in the, in the year. And these ones, unfortunately, these ones are too maggoted or they're mouldy or they've got something that I don't particularly want to eat. So these ones will go back to the woods and hopefully release some more spores. So yeah, that's the three different categories there. And in the next, the next part of this is that I need to slice these ones um, for drying like this. There you go. All sliced up in the dehumidifier. Now, oops, put on the lid, set to eight hours, and start. And then eight hours. Okay, it's eight hours later, and they're done. And they look very different to how they did before. <laughs> they're like crisps. So, um, yeah, now the plan is to put them in this jar, which I always fill up every year. And, uh, yeah, the, the plan is to fill up the whole jar, and that'll, that'll last me for another year. So, let's see how that looks with just the first batch in there now. And here they are, looking good. So the next time I go out, hopefully I'll fill the jar right to the brim. And that'll last us until the next mushroom season. Thanks for watching. Underneath the soil or hidden in the ground, there's a lot of treasures to be found. Dirty secrets, dirty secrets of Scotland.